You may know him as Principal Terrence Cutler on my favorite show of all time, Eastbound and Down. But to the delight of comedy fans, Andy Daly is finally taking the reins and starring in his own Comedy Central show, Review. He plays critic Forrest McNeil, who reviews life's most intense experiences, which include everything from a wild orgy to drug addiction. Let's take a look at a clip where McNeil reviews addiction, or more specifically, cocaine. So you can add alcohol to the list of shit I'm not addicted to? I mean, maybe I'm just invulnerable to addiction. <laughs> what am I, a superhero? It's Mr. Invulnerable! <laughs> Okay, so I have tried cocaine, cigarettes, alcohol, didn't get addicted to any of those, but there's one more thing I need to try. Cocaine! <laughs> Joining me now on set, Andy Daly. This show review, uh, for me as a fan of your work from, uh, from Eastbound and Down, and uh, I mean, even as the principal in Modern Family, oh, this yeah. is sort of like the culmination of the sort of like buttoned up, repressed white man that you play so well. Yeah, I play a lot of guys who are uh, uh, suburban, regular guys who are following the rules of life, and right. then at some point something goes off the rails, <laughs> <laughs> and they get they become destroyed. For uh, Principal Terrence Cutler, it was the arrival of this of his hero right. into his school, and he hires him to to work for him, and it just seems like this is the beginning of a of the most wonderful time of his life. Uh, but no, totally wrong. It's how did review come to you? How did this how did this become? To me, kind of like the perfect show for Andy Daly. Well, uh, Review started in Australia. There's these Australian guys who created it and ran it for two seasons down there, and they had a, a different take on it. Their main character was sort of this stuffy academic, and uh, Comedy Central saw it and thought of me to adapt it here, and then I saw it, they sent it to me, and I was like, yeah, exactly, I'm the only man who can do this. <laughs> The only one in the world. And then, so, myself and some collaborators, Jeffrey Blitz, of, uh, who directed that great Spelling Bee documentary a few years ago, uh, and has a great uh, independent feature called Rocket Science. We, we worked together with a room full of writers to try and craft this character. We created a new character, Forrest McNeil, uh, around me and my strengths to, to become this, the life reviewer, an American version of the Australian life reviewer. What, what would you say, if you had to talk about what your strengths are, what would you say your strengths are as a comedic performer? I, I think I, I'm very good at lulling an audience into a, into a sense that, <laughs> that everything is going to be normal and happy and just absolutely delightful uh, and that everything is going to go fine and then... Only to find that... Only to find that it gets yeah. dark it gets weird, it gets sad. <laughs> when you signed on to do the Paul Reiser show, and when I heard about the Paul Reiser show and saw that you were cast, I was already a fan through Eastbound and, and through some of your other work, and I was so excited to see this show and to see what they were gonna do with you. And then when I saw the show, I have to be pretty honest, yes. I was totally disappointed, and I was kind of <laughs> like, and, I was, and, there, and there seemed to be a complete critical backlash against yeah, it. Yeah, man. At the same time, and People I'm curious. hated that show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm curious when you're shooting something like that. When you were going into it, were you guys kind of like, well, we're doing our best here, but I don't, I'm not really feeling this. Well, I think what people don't know because that show was canceled after two episodes is that the the character that I played, the concept behind the character that I played, is that he was a billionaire who it just seems like he has no problems whatsoever, is gliding through life where he's surrounded by all these other neurotic guys. But then we slowly learn that his marriage is falling apart and that his child is given to violent outbursts. But none of it bothers this guy. And so that was... So you, it was an Andy Daly character that was, we didn't get to see it was, develop. And, and that's, what, that's what attracted me to the part. And it was, it was around about episode three that that was going to start to be revealed. But we got the axe before that. So all you got to see in the first couple of episodes is, hey, let's go. I'm just a rich guy. <laughs> um, but no, I, I mean, to be honest, when I read that script initially I did not I didn't really think that NBC was going to pick it up it didn't it felt to me like it could be on HBO or that it was like a um, what's that rave the show that Raymond did men of a certain age it felt right. like that kind of a thing probably not an NBC show but then they picked it up after having lost my dad um, and looking for my husband all the things that have previously identified Maggie and that Maggie has been able to identify herself with are gone 